what's up everybody thank you so much for joining me on today's video if you're new here karibu sana my name is rosita and i'm gloria and this is the place where we embody truth so on today's video i'm going to be doing a special edition i know right now most of the people have joined university and some are looking forward to joining university we thought of doing this video whereby gloria is going to ask me questions that are related to joining university and being there and i'm going to answer them otherwise if you haven't subscribed please subscribe yeah and stay tuned coming up okay so what should one consider mm -hmm. while choosing a course wow if i was asked this question many years ago <laughs> i would say consider the subjects you love but <laughs> right now we took a <laughs> ground <laughs> let me tell you i did uh, mathematics and computer science and honestly the reason the reason why i chose that course was because mathematics was my favorite subject yes so i was determined combo by all means i must do a course that has mathematics in it mm -hmm. so that was the reason i chose the course i did but right now i wouldn't tell you or advise you to choose a course uh, depending on the subject you loved kwa sababu ukifika huko you realize <laughs> it's a scam it's a scam let me tell you the first class we had yeah yeah your course mm -hmm. we entered the lecture hall to mm -hmm. get chini see what all of us your first years it's our first class yeah lecturer akaingia akaji introduce akaandika kidole kwa kwa blackboard mm -hmm. so as you are like anandika nini what's happening what is he writing mm. then he read it as a statement as an english statement and i'm thinking what? hold up wait what? and then akatuangalia akaona we are so confused like some sitali yenye mlisoma high school sio hesabu welcome to your first mathematics class i fainted <laughs> so after that experience i was like lord forgive my ignorance <laughs> <laughs> you know so i wouldn't tell you to choose a course according to the subject to love mm -hmm. i would tell you to choose a course according to your passion mm -hmm. according to something you know you're so good at if you're good at fashion do, do it. it if you're good at cooking mm -hmm. go and do catering my friend mm -hmm. if you're good at mathematics go and do it if you're good in biology stuff go be a doctor lakini usiseme atin since i get is in geography i'm going to do a, i'm going to come i'm going to go and do <laughs> survey <laughs> in campus no choose according to your to your passion, passion. and don't feel the pressure at i got all a's so i have to go be a doctor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. otherwise you're just going to waste your time in school and waste your future because yeah. i guess basically something you're passionate about you'll never get bored of yeah, doing yeah because it's a passion it's a fire that's always in mm -hmm. you so the fire motto did you see what i did there <laughs> <laughs> nice so what do you think is the role of parents in terms of helping you to choose a course parents encourage your children to pursue their passion where most parents fail is i want my son to be a lawyer yeah i want my son to be a doctor mm -hmm. i want my daughter to be an actual scientist no no please stop that let your kids be whatever they want to be akikwambia i want to go and do tourism mm -hmm. let them do it because i know people whose parents push them towards a certain degree mm -hmm. wakaenda wakasoma after graduating their life you know you end up wasting your fees mm -hmm. your time and the time of that child yeah so it's 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 good for you to encourage them to do something they love they and love. if mm -hmm. you have identified something in your kids yenye unaona akipasuhi itamsa idea tell them but don't push them towards a degree let them choose for them for themselves just advise them according to their passion not according to what 
mm -hmm. you feel you want them to be. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think most parents wana kuanga zileza. I wanted to be a doctor, but was a ziongo how I afford. Mm -hmm. So let me be a yeah, doctor. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't. I have a friend of mine. I'll call him the other day. Kwamba ali join campus. Mm -hmm akafanya anafanya teaching mm -hmm. then ikafika a point akaona i enjoy kitu sana but baba yake alitaka kuwa mwalimu mm -hmm. sasa ikabidi afanye walimu yeah. got to a point he had the chance of changing the course from from education, education mm -hmm. afanye computer science because alitaka computer science mm -hmm. akaambia baba yake i'd love to do computer science baba yake akamwambia if you're changing the course start kulipia fees so yeah. what's the point of forcing somebody into a direction mm -hmm. in at the end of it all what a comment said yeah yeah i could not i think i think that's actually very very wise because yeah. as a parent as a parent i'm a i'm one of the kid that can grow up yeah. like for me i've always loved design yeah. I, I used to do dresses Mm. box TV <laughs> and then make a car TV in a car. like something so weird but today I'm like mm. I actually want to pursue this yeah so if the parent has seen my daughter or son is passionate in mm. this area yeah. then well encourage them towards that direction yeah in the university mm -hmm. what what were your best sort of moments there when I was with my classmates mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> just being with my classmates, mm -hmm. it, it, a university was a place you meet very many people yeah. and very different people. Mm -hmm. So when I was with my friends studying or doing something together, mm -hmm. you get to interact with different people. Your perspective is expanded. Yeah. So I think for me, the best moments were when I'm with my friends. And also, this particular one, this important major one mm -hmm. it's when we were about to do our final examination mm -hmm. in fourth year so my friends and i decided to have a ride all over campus yeah, yeah. so we went and hired bikes mm -hmm. for 50 bob an hour <laughs> <laughs> we were like normally <laughs> <as shoulder. laughs> so I think that was just the best moment for me going through this journey with people mm -hmm. from first year to the end it's not easy because mm -hmm. at the in, at the in the process people dropped out you know things happened mm -hmm. but getting to the end with the same people when you learn that now it yeah. just means so much so mm -hmm. I think that for me was the best. Unfortunately, I missed my graduation, but I think that would have been the best of the best. Between high school and university, mm -hmm. which place will you say has taught you more lessons? Definitely, I think I'd go with campus. Mm -hmm. Why or which lessons has campus taught you? I think majorly, mm -hmm. you know, campus is like the outside world. Mm -hmm. You meet all kinds of people. Mm -hmm. So the most important thing I learned is interacting with different people. Mm -hmm. And in university, it's not like high school when you have a uniform mm -hmm. where you've been put all in the same class. In, uh, in university, kuna wanyo ataingia university na gari, na ingine etu tunapanda mat ya 20 bob, na piki piki, na boda. So you learn to interact with different people of different, different classes. classes. Mm -hmm. And that's very uh, important even when it comes to uh, after university life. Because you have to interact with people. You have yeah. to network with different kinds of people. Mm -hmm. So that for me would be the most important lesson. Learning to interact with people and getting to ins express yourself to different kinds of yeah. people. Having talk of that. Mm. I remember we were in school during a free, a free lesson. Yeah. We were talking with a friend of mine mm. and we were like, be there high school in the Funza Nini? Mm. So, hey, we were like, high school in Funza Kito. I'm like, mm. so university, it's not smooth as in. So how, how do you deal with such hardships and, and everything? Uh, I think majorly university, the main the main thing mm -hmm. that one would have to deal with is academic, the academic part of university. Mm -hmm. It can be a hassle. A Let hassle? me tell you. Mm -hmm. When I was in high school, uh, let me tell you, we were being told this by other, uh, other alumni. Mm -hmm. Walikuwa wanatuambia, ati, 
Don't worry, study hard right now. Kenda university. All you need is 40% na upite. So, hamta soma sana. Hmm. Ah, it was a lie. Iyo mm -hmm. 40%. percent ulikuwa na itafta hivi. <laughs> like looking for a needle in hay. Mm -hmm. It was it was hard. Mm -hmm. Going to university at first, me I went with that mentality. Tulambio university hakuna kusoma. So, mm -hmm. raha wa pi. Mbaka sayi tunambio. You know, uh, please. Please. <laughs> Please, that's a lie. Mm -hmm. That's a lie. I think the hardest part of university is the academic part because there's a lot to cover within a very, very short, short time, time. Mm -hmm. and there's so much freedom. So if you're not careful, you will just let yourself go. Mm -hmm. And then exam, ikikuza, unaona giza tu, and then getting retakes. Mm -hmm. So dealing with that, the only solution is read hard and pass in your cards, pass in those small, small tests, yeah. and finally pass in the examination. Mm -hmm. Other challenges also ni kama yo kujikompea na watu wengine, like you're feeling like someone else is superior, better than you, mm -hmm. so you want to be like them. <sighs> when it comes to that, stay true to yourself. Mm -hmm. On that note, how, how will a person balance studies and time with friends? When it, comes, when it comes to that, I would say, know that there's time for everything. Mm -hmm. Wakati wa class, focus on class. Mm -hmm. Wakati, you know, there's an exam, ama a cut coming up, mm -hmm. focus on it. You're saying, otherwise, you'll come across friends when you wanna kubuta, you go with them everywhere that they want to go. To go yeah. At the end of the day, una, una, but you're losing out on the main reason that took it to university. Mm -hmm. So give them time. But also remember your priority, Nini? Masoma. Mm -hmm. And the best part, the most important part is keep friends when ye, you have the same goal. Like, Usiende, <laughs> your goal is to study, and your friends, their goal is to party every day, Monday to Sunday. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make sense. Stay with people who are also focused on studying. Yeah. And you'll find yourself, Kwamba mnakapa moja mkitaka kusoma, and when you want to chill out, you mm -hmm. also go chill out. Now, when Mozavenu Ananza Kwenda astray, you remind him or you remind her, mm -hmm. we need to meet up for a study. I'm okay, I'm too much, I'm too much, I'm too much, I'm Hold your Tulia, tulia, <laughs> like, it's not that serious. Let's go have fun, you see. Mm -hmm. So balance it by staying with people who have the same goals as you. Other is Utapata, when you want to study, your friends want to party all the time. Mm -hmm. There's that. You're, you're sitting on the fence. Oh, at least me to make to nearly summer high school. You're sitting on the fence whether to study or to go party. Yeah. Since primary, you've been told how to choose your friends, CGO, same character. Yeah. Um, they should be doing the right thing mm -hmm. in Ta Alia. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so. In university, do you think the same applies? Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. So important. It's so important. Because it's very true how the Bible says mm -hmm. that bad character corrupts good morals. Yeah. So when you're choosing people and yeah, you're not focused on the same thing, you're not going in the same direction, mm -hmm. you're just going to lose yourself in the process. We also told two can't work together unless they agree. So how do you avoid that? A negative influence by being true to yourself just mm. tomboy right yeah i knew i'm not the kind of person to steal exams yeah so why would i sit around people who are stealing exams mm -hmm. so the point is just be true to yourself so according to you what are the don'ts and do's in oh. university uh don't pretend to be someone you're not mm -hmm. don't forget where you've come from don't forget why you went to university. Don't forget your purpose in life. Don't forget your responsibilities. Your vision also. Don't forget your vision. Mm -hmm. Don't forget God. And don't forget where you want to end up in, in life. The do's, put God first. Yeah. And when you put God first, he'll help you even focus on your academics. So, Put God first. Mm -hmm. Focus on your academics. That's your priority. Mm -hmm. Usiseme tumenda university kutukuta bibi ama buwena. 
Sasa mm. si tulienda huko na tukatuka bila so. bila yeah. <laughs> yeah, so focus on your academics and then uh, after that everything else is going to fall into place and don't don't allow yourself to be changed by the freedom in university. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it's going to change you, let it be for the better. Yeah. Let it make you more responsible. Let it make you to be more, to be better when it comes to budget, budgeting. budgeting. Mm -hmm. Let it make you better when it comes to being business minded. Like mm -hmm. so many uh, university students normally get into business yeah. when they're in school. Mm -hmm. Let it change you like that. Kwamba, you're not just there being given pocket money. Uza vit, uza viat, uza sweetie, uza. Anything, anything. Yeah, so going to change you let it make you better person i think that's it for the segment today mm -hmm. to shaka <laughs> okay karibu sana if you have any questions comment, comment down below, below i'm going to type an answer definitely yeah so if you haven't gotten anything make sure you just get that one thing be, be true, true to yourself. yourself yeah so that's it for today make sure you subscribe comment and share Bye. Bye.